At least this time, there are no rumors floating around. Queen Ivy won't ponder on it much. She knows the best counter is another pregnancy. This time, it is Lady Morrigan's turn, her first, and she's eager to please. The sorceress will end the first breeding cycle, and to do so on a good note is her duty. A part of her still harbors guilt for her mother's betrayal. Maybe this is her chance at redemption. She has decided to follow in the footsteps of the other ladies and leave her match to the queen. The monarch has chosen Briandon O'Shea, brother of her last mate. It is a great show of trust on her part. A child of this union will be cousin to Prince Kane. Lady Morrigan understands the depth of her responsibility. In her own way, Queen Ivy has displayed affection for the sorceress, and all fairies of the Fey Court are noticing. Lady Nuala is always on the lookout for such changes, anything that threatens to upset her good balance with the Queen. She's thrown herself into training as a result. There isn't much to do apart from increase her strength. Lady Morrigan has nicer thoughts for the hero. She hopes she can provide a capable daughter like Selene. Hello everyone, this is Fantasy Ask and welcome back to The Sims 3 Fairy Amazon with the Verdington Fay Court. Before we begin, I want to say a very special welcome to my channel members. Thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate it immensely. We're picking up quite early on Wednesday morning with our sorceress, Lady Morgan O'Reilly and Briandon O'Shea, brother of the Queen's last mate. And uh, she's about to get pregnant for the first time, and she's also going to be ending the breeding cycle. Now, that doesn't change anything for us in terms of still trying for baby girls until we get our five girls. It just means that the cycle we have, which starts with the Queen and ends with Morrigan, has come to an end. So, like, everyone's had a chance to breed for the first time. And then, once Morrigan is done, the next pregnancy is going to begin a new cycle, and then that's when the other ladies will start getting chances to get pregnant the second time around. So I'm excited, super excited, because Brandon O'Shea looks interesting. Let's just dive in super quick. I think in terms of like features, his I'm not sure if he's a twin with his brother, just in terms of that, but they look very, very alike, very alike, except for the fact that he has like, hold on a second guys, this is kind of tough to work around. He's got pinkish, not pinkish, purplish skin. I think he's on the rainbow skin tone, um, like the rainbow spectrum, the pastel spectrum with Morrigan. And he's got purplish kind of skin. Morrigan, I think, has a similar color. He's got violet eyes, which I'm excited about. And Morrigan has these beautiful, where is she? Where is she? There we go. She's got these beautiful green eyes. So, I mean, a baby with either or, you know. She's got beautiful pinkish hair and... I think Brandon in his younger days had mint green hair. So we could have another baby with mint green, except this baby might be more purplish, which I'm excited about. So let's stop creeping on them in the bed. And let's creep on them from a distance. <laughs> and we'll let Morgan go ahead and do her business. Now, she's a bit of a schmoozer. What am I saying? Schmoozer. So hard to pronounce words sometimes. <laughs> she is a schmoozer. So, obviously, she's going to be super excited about getting this underway so that she can get on the Queen's kind of good graces. Because they were, I think they were friends at one point, but with, you know, the betrayal of her mother and all of those shenanigans, her relationship with the Queen has kind of gone down a little bit. She did prove herself. I mean, she got her mother in. She's the one who discovered, unraveled the plot. So, I think the Queen, you know, has forgiven her from uh, a while ago, but unfortunately they haven't repaired the relationship to the extent it was, and I think it's largely due to the fact that Morrigan 
has a guilty conscience, and so she keeps a distance from the queen. But I think if she can get a baby girl, guys, that's going to help her out. And she is, in her eyes, going to redeem what her family did. And, um, where is it? Yes! Morgan O'Reilly is pregnant. Ah, I'm excited, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and end things with this gentleman. Because, you know, there's no point in keeping this romance going. Now, I've been thinking about, like, when they cancel their romances or when they break it off with the men. And I'm thinking what I'll do is, if the ladies autonomously develop a romance, I'll most probably not break it off. They won't ever breed with the same male twice, regardless of circumstance. That's just a rule for the Amazon challenge that I'm quite firm on. No love story will break me, like, into tears enough to let them breed twice. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so we have that. But I think it'll be interesting for them to have to work around that true love of theirs. Um, yeah. So, for example, with Celine, you know, autonomously, it's Wednesday, and I think today is prom night. So if she develops an actual romance with the prince, then in the future... She might be able to breed with the prince once, and she won't have to break off the relationship with him, because to me, that is kind of like true love. But she's still going to have to, like, breed with other men, right? Should she get a second chance and whatnot. She's going to have to breed with other men. But if she breeds with them, she'll break off the relationship afterwards. Ah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Okay, let's, um, ask to just be friends. You have done your job, Briandon. Thank you so, so much. So, so much. Okay, let's go ahead and that. Is he upset now? They always are, are they not? They always are. Yep. I'm sorry, dude. But you can leave now. Can we? Let's ask him to leave. Uh, we'll ask him to go. Okay, nice. Oh, she wants to woo-woo with him again. Well, your job with him is done. You don't need to more again. You don't need to, honey. Okay. Um, let's check up on Raven. Because remember how I was fussing over Celine when she was young? Giving her the best education I could? Yeah, I'm kind of leaving uh, Raven a little bit on the sidelines, so we need to get onto that. Where's her mother? You need to stop what you're doing, and you need to be more like Noala. Nuala was like on to her daughter, just teaching her all of the toddler skills that she had to learn. And honestly, Nessie, you need to give more attention to your child. You really, really do. You have to teach Raven how to talk, how to walk. Like, she's got four days. She's got four days, woman. You need to get onto it. So let's get her to do some potty training. And she's good in terms of her other needs, so this would kind of be a good time to get some of that education underway. I mean, you want to teach this dangerous fairy all the right things, right? <laughs> you would want to, I would imagine so. Okay, we're gonna leave them to that. Now, Celine has been in a bit of a- oh, jeez, she's in school, my bad. My bad. She's in a bit of a foul mood. Okay. I think we have the dance today because she's at school and she doesn't like being surrounded by people. Makes sense. But um, she's in a bit of a foul mood. And that is because, as we know, Queen Ivy... I think we saw an episode or so back that Queen Ivy had like a little bit of negative relationship with the prince. And I couldn't figure out why that was and I'm still unsure. But I think whatever it was that she was disapproving of, she mentioned it to Celine, And Celine was in like a... A foul, foul mood. Um, because of, I don't know, her teenage, teenageness, something. She was having a mood swing. And so, she just, you know, being her hot-headed self, just broke out into a yelling match with the monarch. So, her relationship with the queen isn't doing too great, as you can see. There's a bit of red there, which I hope does not go any further. But, the queen has more or less forgiven her because... The queen is kind, she's understanding, she's nurturing, she knows that the children, the teenagers, they have these moments in their lives, and it doesn't mean she's gonna, you know, declare them a traitor and behead them or anything, but 
that's just what's going on with Celine. The queen's being understanding, giving her some distance, but yeah, Celine's still feeling a bit cranky. Now, also, Prince Anakin aged up. I don't think he looks as um, as handsome as his brother Callum, but hey, you know they've got some. So they've got those royal genes. Also, I've noticed this, which is very strange, but Michael McCarthy is a werewolf. He's like the first ever sim that the queen bred with, if you guys remember. He's Callum's father, actually. He's Callum's father. And he was a fairy. Callum's a fairy, right? And we turned him into a fairy so that he could mate with the, ki uh, the queen. But since then, at some point, I don't know when, he must have ingested some sort of potion um, that he's now werewolf. He must have been cured and then turned into werewolves. I don't know what's been going on with that. I haven't seen anyone else that's a werewolf. We have a bunch of fairies in town, though. So, just just an additional thing I've noticed. Okay, Morgan, you're back home. Ivy. Hold on a second. How is Sparrow? Okay, Sparrow's doing pretty decent. I actually want the queen to pull a fairy trick on Sparrow. She's been wanting to do that for a while now. So, let's do... No, she doesn't need a part-time job. Let's go into Queenie. Let me get to her. Let's do skivvies. We'll do that. Just a few fairy tricks around the place, you know? It it makes our monarch feel good. I think the tricks are kind of like fairy urges you have to get out of the way from time to time. <laughs> so I'll let her do that. Oh, I don't know why you're embarrassed, Sparrow. You really shouldn't be. You guys walk around. There we go, she's not. <laughs> you guys walk around in your nightdress all the time anyways. Um, okay. And you just want to go and make some more potions. Which, oh, I did get her, I, I got Morrigan, actually, to go and get some ingredients. So I think we'll put out some potions. Um, and then we'll also get her to make some stuff. Nessie, you spent like a little bit of time with your child and then you just ran away. Come on, woman. Come on. Teach her to talk. Teach her to talk. So she's gonna go do that. She's gonna teach her even to talk. Let's make some progress on those skills. Um, Morrigan, where'd you go? Okay, use the restroom here. I won't- I'll get her to eat later. She can have some food later. But what I want to do is put out the potions she had. Where are these potions? Okay, we have a jar of potent friendship. We have like two now. But oh, come on. Center yourself! Thank you. And then what else do we have? We don't have any of the potions, interestingly enough. Why don't we get you? She has a bunch of whims for alchemy, so I want to encourage that as much as possible. Let's research and let us mix. She also got some books, which, did she? Unless we added them to the family inventory. I have no clue. I swear we got some books, but maybe she already knew the recipe. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll get her to make some stuff. Um, Queenie. Where are you? My lovely queen. Okay, she's down here. Where did she go? Where the heck is the queen? Oh, she's in her chambers. Apologies, apologies. She's in her chambers. Let's get her to freshen up. Come down, eat some lunch. Okay. Not quick meal. <gasps> oh, for a second I was like, scandalous, do we not have food in the fridge? We do, we do. <laughs> we'll get some stew surprise. Um, and then... Lady Nuala wants to train with the dummy. Of course she does. I'll get her to do that. She also wants to ask Dermot Cullen out on a date. Maybe we should arrange that for her. You know what? Come here. Let's take a shower. Let's go ahead and get some tofu dogs. Okay, we're going to ignore that party invitation. Thank you very much. What part of the castle is closed up? Do you not understand? That means the ladies are not going to be attending functions, and they're not going to be hosting functions, but they never like, attend anything anyways. Okay, we don't have what we need for the potent friendship, which I think Morgan wanted to make. But we have invigorating elixir, which is really useful, so we'll just get her to make some of that. Okay, as soon as you're done eating, I think I'll try and get her to ask Dermot Cullen on a date. 
Is this the guy? This is the guy. He doesn't look too great now that he's an elder, I will say. But, can we not invite him on a date? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yep, the dance is at 6 p.m. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Right, Celine, Celine, you need to be in the best of moods. Let's go take a shower, woman. Get you changed into your formal wear so that you're ready. Ah, I'm excited because she's going with the prince. Okay, Celine, Celine, Celine. I apologize, honey. Hold on a second. Let's go up. We need to get her ready, guys. We need to get her ready. She's going to take a shower in the nursery. And then she's going to get changed into her formal wear. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Come on, Celine. Go, go, go. You need to look your best. I mean, she has the same formal outfit she's going to wear. Like that she wore to the... Is it? I think so. It's a formal dance, isn't it? Um, I think it's a formal dance. I don't think she's going to wear her party outfit. I think she'll wear her formal outfit. That's fine. She'll go in that, looking like her adorable self. And, um, hopefully she has a good time with the prince. Who knows whether they'll stay friends or become something more. So, we'll get that arranged. And you know, I'm kind of liking the idea of the Candy Bachelor's Ball to kind of be that place as well where the girls might potentially find a date for the prom like our teens which is why I'm planning on throwing it every time one of the teens ages up into like one of the girls ages up into a teen so probably like five times in a queen's reign but I think that's pretty decent okay uh, let's get you to change into your formal just so that you are prepared dear okay nice she's in her formal wear so now when she goes she's gonna be ready Excellent. She wants to become good friends with him. Um, I won't get her to project an aura. Just just because. Okay, she's going to do her homework while she waits. Does that help with fun? Very strange. Very strange child. But she's going to do some homework on her own while she waits. Oh my goodness, what was that? Okay, the date. Noala's date. I was so confused for a second. I was like, what's happening? Why am I getting thrown across the world? Okay, um, I think we've been to the community garden, which I was very surprised to learn about. Um, but, I mean, we have this pub, which someone, I think Nessie's gone to the pub before. Someone's asked Dermot out, I mean, I don't know, maybe it wasn't Dermot. Someone's asked someone out on a date to the pub, and they did not attend, which is kind of sad. But Noelle is bothered to go all the way out. We'll kind of let her. We'll also keep an eye on Celine. Um, so that she's not too late to the prom. I mean, the academy is very far away. Like, where is it? Where is it, even? It is quite far, isn't it? Yeah, it's like all the way here. Like, heck, it is all the way here. By the time she gets there, it's gonna be like... So, so late. It starts at 6. I'm kind of tempted to, like, send her now, you know? But I'll leave her be. I don't know when, um, like, if she's going to go to the prom on her own. Yep, there we go. Thank goodness. This is why we have the limousine coming. We have our metal carriage <laughs> coming uh, one hour before the dance. Why are you wearing your outerwear? It's okay, guys. As soon as she gets, we'll follow her to the school. As soon as she gets there, we'll get her to wear her formal outfit and then try and send her inside. Although the fact that this dance is happening in winter might just sabotage us. And she'll probably just go in this, which, honey, honey, don't do that. I don't know how Callum's going to dress, but you need to dress the best way you can, okay? You can't go in this state. Okay, she's gonna head off. Nice, I'm so excited for her. She's gonna be a little bit late to the dance, but that's okay. That's okay. She can be a tad bit late to the dance and make like a, a grand entrance. It's gonna be fun though, hopefully. Okay. I love the prom events in Sims 3. 
it's so interesting to see like if anyone pairs up if anyone gets asked out on a like a date to the prom what happens sometimes they go by themselves and they find someone at prom so I, I kind of love that a lot okay she's here up 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 Prince Callum is here too get changed get changed stop stop woman stop don't you dare don't you dare woman Celine stop it change thank you now go and attend prom now attend prom okay there we go in her formal wear thank goodness we saved the day folks we saved the day she has made it safely to her academy formal that she is now attending with Prince Callum and I am so excited oh Sparrow taught Raven to talk. Wow. That was pretty quick. Is the child still okay? I hope so. Um. Wait, what? Nuala! Did you really wrap up your date? Well, I don't know where the heck he is, but apparently they wrapped up the date? Like, that quickly? Is he the guy? Yeah. This is the guy. Are you done? Yeah, they had a good time out. I guess it wasn't a date, was it? <gasps> oh, guys! Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay! Well, peoples. Well. While Celine... This is what I'm talking about. While Celine was getting her dance on, Prince Callum asked Celine if she wanted to go steady. She's gonna say yes, guys. Like, heck, she's gonna say yes. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it happen. This is really, really interesting. Because we haven't had anyone else go steady, but we also know that male-female relationships, at least in my fairy society, there's nothing against that. It's considered fine, and a lot of the rules around marriage depends on, like, marriage is a separate thing. Um, relationships are okay, but a lot of the rules around marriage are set by the queen, and our queen has dictated that... As long as it is a prince or a lord by birth, then it's okay. So I think this is going to be something that more or less the ladies kind of get behind on. So I love it. I love it. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Celine is in a relationship with Prince Callum. True love, I tell you. It is true love, everyone. Okay. That's amazing. I'm so happy about that. She's a bit stressed because there's too many people at the dance, but at least the prince is there. So that's sweet. Now this also means that, um, like for example, this is thinking way ahead, but in the next generation, when it's Celine's turn to breed, she's going to, like her first ever child is going to be with Prince Callum. And then if she's lucky enough to get a second turn, it is going to, like she's never going to break her relationship with him, but it is going to be with a different, it is going to be with a different male that the queen of the next generation is going to choose. Um, and she's going to have to try and navigate that with um, Prince Callum. So ugh, we'll have to see how that happens. Okay. Prince Callum heard that Celine had never been kissed. So he um, asked the band to plant spotlight on them. And Prince Callum kissed her. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's adorable. Celine is having like the, the night of her life. Okay, now let's head back home. Let's head back. Actually, no, 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 no. Where is, where is Dermot Cullen? He's right here. Is there no way to ask him on a date? I don't think so. But we want to ask his sign. Let's ask his sign. Can you ask him on a date? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't see anything. Seriously, when can you ask them out on a date? She's gonna ask his sign. Celine is having a great time and is starting to have strong feelings for Prince Callum. Oh guys, this is like better than I thought it would be. Yep, she's making a good impression on Callum. Okay, she learnt his sign. We still cannot ask him out on a date and I'm not gonna force her to be romantic with him. Unfortunately. Okay, well that's fine. Um, I'll leave her here for now. Um, she can kind of spend the time with him if she wants. And Raven, how are you doing? Let's head back home. Let's head back home, everyone. 
Okay, Raven, you need to be cleaned. Where's your mother? She keeps running away to go do painting. Oh, nice. Everyone sees this chemistry between them. Uh, let's change your child's dirty diaper. And... Okay, she hasn't had any... I think she had a want to walk, like, teach her daughter to walk once, but she hasn't had it since then. So I'm not going to pursue it, I think. She does want a potty trainer, so we'll do that. Okay, how's she doing? She's doing fine for now. Okay, just help her with that, and then you can go kind of tend to your needs, more or less. Actually, then you can go take a shower and head to bed. So let's take a shower, head to bed. Actually, hold on a second. Ah, oh, they must put the baby down. You done? Are you done? Did you... You helped her out. Okay. Now, yeah. Leave the baby. Let the baby sleep. And you go send yourself to bed as well. Okay. Let's shower. Let's sleep. Does the butler have a bed? Yeah, the butler does have a bed. Nice. Okay, the dance is gonna end pretty soon. Celine and Prince Callum were inseparable. Oh, they're definitely hitting it off, and possibly the cutest couple at the dance. Okay, Prince Caspian has grown as well into a child, so that's interesting. What's this? Um, hmm, I don't know how I feel about the charisma and guitar skill. I like the charisma, I'm not sure how I feel about the guitar, so I won't force it or accept that. Okay. Oh, this is- I love reading these little things. Attend masterclass at World's Theatre. Mm, I guess I could send her out at some point. Okay, Prince Callum has been getting Celine punched the entire night and making sure she's having a good time. Prince Callum's attention to detail is making a good impression on Celine. Oh, okay, the school dance has ended. They had such a good time. She got into a relationship with the prince. They kind of, you know, officially committed to each other, essentially. Which is adorable. The sad fate of the relationship is that Celine isn't going to be able to be faithful to him. Because that's just the Amazon life. Her heart's not going to be into any of the men that she has, like other men she has to mate with. But she's going to do it, you know. Ah, which, if she can keep that from the prince, then I guess their relationship will survive. But this is why it is good to get into a relationship for these Amazons, like, after you've had, your, like, once the breeding season is over. Honestly. Because that's when you know you have a clean slate and you won't have to breed with anyone else ever again and you can stay committed to one person, you know? Okay, well, she's back from the dance. She's feeling quite tired. Um, why don't you get some dinner, and then you can get to bed. She's so- she's- look at her, she's so happy, but she's probably tired, so. We'll send you to bed. And then... Morgan. Morgan's down here, doing her own little thing. She's very exhausted as well. Well, why don't you... Um, go get some food to eat. Get some tofu dog. And then you can head to sleep as well. She hasn't gotten her um, notification just yet. Or she hasn't announced to everyone else. She'll announce um, sometime tomorrow. She's going to head to sleep. The queen needs to tend to herself as well. Oh my goodness. Butler, that is not your bed. That is not your bed. This is your bad woman. How dare you sleep in the queen's bed. You're so lucky she's not a tyrant. Otherwise, honestly, off with your head. My goodness, look at these people. How dare you sleep on the queen's bed. Not allowed, woman. Not allowed. Beat it. Beat it. Honestly. Okay, queenie. Her energy is like so high up, so she honestly... No, don't put on your graduation robes. She doesn't need to go ahead and, um, what am I calling it? Let's get some stew surprise. She doesn't need to sleep. Doesn't need to. 
But also, the queen's kind of, I think she's reached, like, the max charisma that she can. And she needs to meet more people. And she needs to make more friends in order to get her skill up. So, uh, I guess she can work on some of the other folks in the family because she's not friends with Celine. Let's try and be friends. Actually, no, you have a you have a few Sims you're not friends with. Really, Queenie? That is wild. She's not friends with Sparrow. When did this happen? When did this happen? Is Sparrow in a good mood? Hmm. Not really. Sparrow, go sleep in your bed, woman. Sleep in your bed. She's gonna have to work on befriending someone at some point. Honestly. Okay. Um, Morgan, she's gonna head to bed. That's good. The queen is awake. Who knows what she's gonna get up to. Nuala, um, I think we'll get you. She's been training quite a bit because, you know, she wants to stay in the queen's good graces. Let's eat some veggie burger and you can head to bed as well. Actually, can we cook something? I feel like it's a bit late though, you know? And maybe we've already clocked in to breakfast. Okay, send her to bed. Is Celine sleeping? Celine, whose bed are you sleeping in? Oh my goodness, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <gasps> Children! What is up with everyone? Why is everyone sleeping in the Queen's quarters? This is the Queen's quarters for a reason. You know what I what I think, guys? I think we need to reassert our dominance over this bed. Queen Ivy. Reassert your dominance over this bed, thank you. Now, another thing, guys, that I've been playing around with, which is quite fun. You know how we gave the queen the um, lifetime reward of Queen of the Fae? Well, part of that, she can summon fairies. And so, when I was trying to get Brienne and O'Shea here, I just clicked summon fairy, and she can summon any of the fairies that she knows. And then they kind of just teleport here, which is so cool, because... I had um, Morrigan invite him over and he refused to come and then the Queen just summoned him and he had no excuses. He was here in like an instant and that made me super happy. But okay guys, uh, this was, I don't know, it was slightly dramatic and not too dramatic. We're kind of just biding our time at this point waiting for Lady Morrigan to have her baby. But with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.